decorating your RV for Christmas. This video is gonna be a little bit more of just us decorating and having some fun, but there are some things I wanna tell you guys about. But first, we have something we gotta do before we even get started, so follow me. We have to get our adult beverages on here. We're gonna do a little bit of eggnog, or we're gonna do a little bit of uh, Kentucky bourbon whiskey. And you know why we're doing this? So we're in Kentucky. Plastic, we're gonna need them for this. Okay, kids, one part bourbon Kentucky whiskey. I'm totally saying that wrong. And three parts eggnog, like the hubby said. So we'll just estimate that. We'll just top this off a little bit. Uh-huh. Looking great. We're gonna give it a little dash of nutmeg. What's that? That's still weed. That's time. Here you go, cameraman. Oh, thank you, thank you. Whoa. And we're done decorating. We haven't even started, never mind. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, the next thing we have to do is take down the Halloween decorations. Is she ever gonna decorate? We might not. When it comes to decorating your RV, do whatever you want, go crazy. There's really no rules, but just keep in mind that whatever you put up must come down. So if you're full-time RVing and it's your first season and it's Christmas and you're at Hobby Lobby and you're just like, ah! you are gonna have to cool it just a little bit because you gotta take into account where are you gonna put all this stuff when you're done? Otherwise, get your holiday drink, get your Christmas music on, and have some fun. Just come with me and I'm gonna show you where we keep our decorations. Bada bing, bada boom. That is it. I'm telling you, there's so many more things I wanted to buy for decorating the RV this year, but I was like, nope, 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 because I'm not gonna have anywhere to put it. All right, let's talk about the best way to hang them in your RV, and this also goes for your home, is command hooks and command strips and command everything. Love them so much that I went to Walmart today and I bought some more. Guys, I don't even remember what I had in this bin, to be honest, so let's look together. We have Dexter's costume, Dexy! Look at, look at what we have! He is not happy about that. We got some little doohickey there. Look, at it fit in the bin, that's great. And then we have some little jingle jangle here. You know, this is perfect to put on the pantry door, so it's just one little thing to remind you not to keep going for midnight snacks if you have that problem like me. So this is not a real candle. This is a uh, fake little doohickey LED candle. I went ahead and bought an actual candle at Walmart. Listen, disclaimer, having a candle in an RV could be very dangerous, and I know it's dangerous in a home. I feel like I'm such a buzzkill right now. <laughs> They're more dangerous in an RV because things can catch on fire much faster, and it's rigged with propane. And if it's your first time full-timing, first time full-timing in an RV, I would hold up on the candles until you have a good routine where you know to like, unplug and blow everything out and shut it down before you go to bed. Because you don't ever want to leave these unattended. You just never know when you're gonna get a pine needle in your eyeball. So I got these command strips at Walmart and they're like the really, really, really tiny command hooks. And last year, this worked pretty well. There were times that they fell off at the very end, you know, when I had my decorations up and 
January, but I think that this is a great way to hang these. Christmas lights in your RV same as anything as far as you know when I was talking about the candle and anything that is electric you just want to be very cautious I would never put these on and then leave the RV even if you go outside and go for a walk turn these off literally we have these up just for when we want some nice ambiance and we just want to hang out listen to some Christmas music and have the lights on we do not ever leave these lights unattended so just a little disclaimer FYI please be cautious when you're putting lights up also note that I'm putting these around the slide out frames. So that is something you have to take into consideration. So every time the slides go in and out, it could get stuck between the wall and the bulb. You can either break your lights or break your slide out. So now that these are hung, whenever we put the slides in and out, I have to be very, very careful and I have to get up and make sure the lights are not stuck inside the slide out. So just one more thing to worry about. Are just about done but we saved the best for last the Christmas tree hun do you want to go get the tree outside okay and I'll oh, take yeah, the camera yeah. okay okay guys this tree is amazing we went above and beyond and Carl is outside getting the tree right now so let's let's take a look when he comes in with it oh okay give me a second oh my gosh I feel like you're trying getting up the steps okay all right Good. You got it! Have you guys ever seen such a big tree? And not a bad price. Honey, you cut it down and you put decorations on it? Yeah. For you, buddy. I told you guys this thing is huge. You're right, guys. It's really not that big of a tree. But it is perfect for the RV. We had this in our small RV and we still have it and we love it. It comes decorated and everything for you. If you're interested in where we got this, I bought it on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. When this thing is ready to get put away, I have this box that it came in and I just basically shove it in here and then this gets put in storage. So I hope you guys are having a safe and wonderful holiday season. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We do put out a new video every Thursday, 7.15 Central Time, and it is everything related to RVing, how-tos, all the fun stuff you wanna know when it comes to RVing and all the cool stuff we've been to. So don't forget to do that, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.